I think we are dead to Hyper Fang Critical, but I think we kind of have to play into that. Um, I mean, I think best case is pick up Meowth, right? Does it always have pick up? It always has pick up. Yeah, so. I mean, we're most likely getting Pidgey, but. Best case scenario, we get pick up Meowth. I think Bell Sprout's probably worst case, to be honest. Alright, we got Meowth. Nice. Um, but the, definitely the big merit here is that we can farm berries now through pickup. That's definitely really nice. I have a feeling this early game, like this chunk of game we're in right now is probably going to be the hardest. Because after this chunk of game, we can start getting some like fully evolved Pokemon. Okay, let's Fury Attack. Ugh, that's a lot of damage and we missed. Oh, we're speed tied. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Five hits? Okay, five hits. Okay. I mean, we have to swap, right? I mean, probably to Geodude, right? I really don't like using Geodude HP before Charmeleon, though. Okay, that is really low damage. Rock throw. We do still have a lot of HP for Charmeleon. Problem is, Geodude has really low special defense, so Charmeleon's Ember will still do a decent amount. Okay, here it is. Um, let's go ahead and Magnitude. Okay, uh, that's fine, potentially. Let's hope we hit. Magnitude 5 is a pretty weak Magnitude, but it's damage. We did connect. Okay, we just need to hit another Magnitude, basically. Growl is also fine. Just hit. Just hit. Damn it, Geodude. Okay, how much? 48 to 35. 13. So 26 is the crit. Hit. No! Metal Claw. Okay. Did 15, so 30 is the crit. Please hit. Oh, thank god. Okay. Okay. We took it down. That's not the only threat, but that is a threat down. Probably Kadabra next? Yeah, okay. Um... How is our special defense on Meowth? Because Meowth is kind of the only thing that can kill this right now. It's pretty okay. But if we hard Meowth and he's a two-shot, we could be in trouble. Does this Kadabra have Psybeam yet? I want to see. It does not have Psybeam. It's only using Confusion. Hard Meowth might be the answer. Let's give it a shot. Okay, how much damage? We survived non-critical, so let's hope for non-critical. We're actually faster. Unless we're speed tied. We could be speed tied. Speed tied would be really awkward. I have to go for it. Okay. There is all sorts of risks involved with that. Meow to the rescue, true that. Oh, does this thing have Pursuit? Am I gonna get Pursuit? It doesn't have Pursuit yet. As Hyper Fang, Quick Attack, Ackle, and Tail Whip. So, we just Geodude, right? Hyper Fang could do a lot. Um, maybe we Bulbasaur and try to put it to sleep? Yeah, I'm down to give it a shot. See how much damage he takes. I think we are dead to Hyper Fang Critical, but I think we kind of have to play into that. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough! Okay, uh, this gets a little harder. Let's go to Mankey. We're actually slower. Wow. Okay, we did one shot. Damn it! 
That really sucks, actually. I mean, Bulbasaur could never evolve, but it had some really useful support moves with Leech Seed and Sleep Powder. That's a tough loss. That's a really tough loss. And I wanted to just take this moment to say that if you are enjoying this video, then please consider subscribing. Uh, it costs you nothing. Just takes a button click. You already know it. I, I won't press you, but it does really help me out. Uh, last time, by suggesting this, people actually unsubscribed. So I don't know if the message didn't get across. Um, but uh, please actually subscribe. Um, and if you unsubscribe, um, bad. Don't do it. It's okay, I think we can make it through Surge, and if we can make it through Surge, we can get to Snorlax. Getting to Snorlax is kind of our holy, gra uh, yeah, holy grail right now. Oh, another thing, we're in Vermilion City. I could trade for the Farfetch'd. I think that's a good idea. Also, we got an Adamant Farfetch'd. That's really good. Uh, that's plus attack minus special attack. Actually really good for this thing. Alright, uh, third gym. Should hopefully just be another Sweet Fest. Uh, with our Geodude. But we shall see. Well, Torb, we're gonna take some damage from Sonic Boom. Nothing we can do about it. Or he's just gonna tackle. True. He he also could do that. 927, that should bring him down, right? Seven's pretty strong. X. Well, Torb's down. And as far as I'm aware, Pikachu and Raichu only have Quick Attack to hit me. So... Yeah, it should just kind of be free after this now. As far as I'm aware. Nice. And out comes Raichu. Let's go for Magnitude. Yeah, double team's kind of the only play it has, because uh, it's either that or quick attack. Magnitude 9. Nice, that's a strong magnitude. Easy. God, this Geodude encounter is so good. What a lucky encounter finding this thing. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Alright, well that's three gyms down. Which means we're officially done getting gyms without Snorlax. That's pretty cool. Uh, so if you have never heard of the Repel trick, um, hopefully I will demonstrate it for you. Basically, the way a Repel works is it blocks wild encounters from Pokemon lower level than your lead Pokemon. Our lead Pokemon is a level 28 Pidgey, so this means anything level 27 and below, we can't encounter it. It'll, it'll be blocked. But anything 28 and above will still be able to be encountered. So what this means is that all of the Diglets will not be encountered because they only go up to level 22. Whereas Doug Trios range from 29 to 31. So we can use the Repel to ensure that we can only get Doug Trio, because it's the only encounter that can spawn within that level range. And here's our Doug Trio. Level 31. So we're not gonna be able to use it this split. It is above the cap. That's okay. Okay, he's in a nice range. I don't think we have any great balls. Yeah, so we're just gonna chuck balls at this for a while. In worst case scenario, we lose Pidgey. Um, I'm not that upset if we end up losing Pidgey. I'm not actually sure what is Dugtrio's catch rate. Gotta be pretty low. I'm sick. Alright. That's really good. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, that's not great. I do not have a good answer to this. So my options right now are to try and win the 1v1 with Geodude. But if my magnitude rolls don't go well, I'm gonna lose Geodude. And that would be pretty detrimental right now. Another option would be to sack Pidgey to get Voltorb in. But I'm not certain of Voltorb one-shots. It is 48 power and it is grass, so it'd be double effective but I'm not 100% certain if that one-shots. And if that doesn't one-shot, we lose Voltorb. Basically, if we stay in with Geodude, we're risking Geodude in an attempt to protect Pidgey. Sacrificing Pidgey 
saves Geodude, and potentially puts Voltorb at risk. I think I think Pidgey Sack is the angle here, I'm not gonna lie. And I think we need Geodude right now. Yeah, I think it has to be this way. I'm sorry, Pidgey. You did great in catching Doug Trio, buddy. You did wonderful. Even if I sand attack, I'm not comfortable just switching to Voltorb. Alright, Pidgey. You're hanging on. Yeah, that orange berry is gonna save you, buddy. I mean, we got four sand attacks in at least. That might save Voltorb if we don't one shot, basically. Eos Pidgey. A real a real hero. Truly. Okay, so we bring in Voltorb. We have Hidden Power Grass, 48 base power. Hopefully it one-shots. Okay, good. F for Pidgey. Honestly, put in so much more work than I expected out of a Pidgey. Truly. Obviously, we could just grab Abra here, but it sounds like we have a pretty guaranteed Abra later, so I don't see the benefit to that. I mean, I think we just take Pinsir as our Celadon encounter, right? Pinsir's not the best, but I mean, it is... It's going to have higher stats than anything we can really get for right now, right? Like, 125 attack, 85 speed. That's really good. I think we're ready to give it a shot. Um, ideally, this is just a far-fetched sweep fest. Um, he might get paralyzed. That's a possibility. Um, if that happens, we'll improvise. We have a lot of team members. We have a pincer. We've got a ball picks. I'm not worried about this fight. Erica's never really a challenge, um, even in a run like this. And I just, I have a lot of options to handle her right now. So let's just Aerial Ace. Nice, gonna be a two shot. Miss your Stun Spore. Nice! That's so good. So, so good. We're really happy about that. Jeez, that XP. Tangela. Okay, this probably has Stun Spore as well. I'm gonna swap the Vulpix. Um, Tangela has really high physical defense, but like zero special defense. So we're gonna let Vulpix handle this one. Ingrain is fine. Flamethrower should one shot. This thing has very little special defense. I learned that from my grass type only run of Leaf Green. Nice. Okay, um, we may as well just stay out for right now. I actually want to get status, so I don't switch Farfetch in on a status move. I'm gonna will o -Wisp just for some residual damage. Um, and it weakens Acid, so... Missed another Stun Spore, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, we may as well just attack, right? Full heal, okay. Interesting moves. I didn't even know she had those. <laughs> Oh wow, we can just flamethrower again. <laughs> okay, Vulpix kind of just cleans this up. Yeah, we just keep flamethrowing. Alright! That's four gym badges. And we can officially use Doug Trio now. And then we can work on getting Snorlax. Oh, options are opening up to us. We're getting so many options now. It's basically just becoming a, a normal Nuzlocke at this point. Not quite, but... We're gonna get a lot of good encounters from here on out. I do think we're gonna call it a stream here today, though. Uh, it's getting pretty late for me, and I've got work in the morning tomorrow, so I shouldn't be up too much later.